Hi, this is Julian, civil rights attorney in Chicago. I'm gonna to react to a video of a police officer using force on a individual who was in police custody. A community on edge tonight. A Warren officer is caught Whoa. on video assaulting a 19 year old and that officer is now facing well, serious charges. That's clearly charges. excessive. The officer is on unpaid leave tonight. Thanks for being with us. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skilly and a security camera caught the assault as it happened. Victor Williams is hearing from community members tonight and Victor, they want to make sure justice is served here. Oh yeah, that's right. Not just community leaders, but also just members of the community as well. And speaking of that community leader, he wants this officer held accountable. We was looking at it. We was just talking about it. So it's definitely going around. It's the surveillance video that everyone's talking about showing police brutality, allegedly at the hands of Warren Officer wow. Matthew Rodriguez. He didn't raise his fist at him. Okay, so I guess you stop right there. I don't need to see any more. That's clearly excessive force, clearly police brutality, clearly a violation of the Fourth Amendment. It doesn't matter what this individual said to the officer, it doesn't matter how the officer felt about what he said to him, you do not have um, the authority, it is not lawful to you to strike an individual in police custody who has not posed a threat to you. And this officer clearly did that. He clearly knew what he was doing when he, he struck the individual. He was clearly upset about something that this person said. But again, that does not give you the right to strike this person. Uh, but we see this happen all the time. It just so happens that this one was caught on uh, video where police officers sometimes use force against individuals who have said something that they didn't agree with or insulted them or made them feel uh, some kind of way about something that was said. It does not give the police the right to then escalate and use force on an individual who is, for the most part, compliant and has not posed a threat to you. So this officer clearly violated the Fourth Amendment, clearly used excessive force on this individual, but also this officer broke the law. This officer should be charged criminally uh, with a um, uh, battery. But this is absolutely a case that I would take uh, as a civil rights attorney. I think this may be a case where I could probably um, get a fair settlement for this individual without um, even having to do much litigation because there's no defense that the officer could uh, put up. I mean, what is the officer gonna say? I felt threatened by his words. That's not enough. Um, so this officer and the, uh, the city that the officer is in, I think is um, Warren in uh, Macomb County, Georgia, they would not be able to say anything. There's no defense that they could put up. So this would be a case I would take. How much would it be worth? Not really sure. Could be worth up to maybe high five figures. You might be able to get um, a small six figure settlement. It just depends on whether or not this individual had any injuries. Was his jaw broken? Was his orbital bone broken? Uh, did he have to go to the hospital? Was there something that happened as a result of the force the officer used on him? Did the police then charge this individual for something to try to make up and fabricate charges to justify the force used on them. If, if that happened, perhaps that could be worth a little bit more, but just where it is right now, it was unlawful, it was unconstitutional, it was excessive, definitely a violation of the law. Is it worth a ton of money? Not really, but it's still something that this individual could be compensated for, and it's absolutely a case that I will take because there's no defense for it, and the officers wouldn't be able to put up any defense at all.